All right, so let's dive a little bit deeper into the conversion of T4 thyroid hormone to the active form T3. So if you haven't watched the previous video, go back and watch that because we're going to continue right on uh, where we left off. So T4 is going to be taken to the liver where 60% of it's going to be converted to T3, which again is the active form. It can go right to the cell and be utilized. 20% is going to be converted to what's called reverse T3. Now, that is not usable. Your body just recycles it that up, so it's essentially useless. The problem with this is that most doctors in the standard medical model are not going to be testing for reverse T3, which gives us great insight into the conversion rate that's happening in the liver. So right then and there, if your doctor is not testing for reverse T3, you are getting mismanaged because you're not getting a full picture of what your thyroid's actually doing. The last 20% is going to be taken to the digestive tract where it is going to be converted to T3, but this is highly dependent upon healthy gut flora. So if you have any sort of issues such as IBS, leaky gut syndrome, you're constipated, you may have food sensitivities, inflammatory bowel disease, that stuff is going to hinder the conversion rate and then you may be suffering from thyroid dysfunction because you're not activating as optimally as you should. So things that can happen in the liver that can slow this process down, we live in a very toxic world. Um, new chemicals are being introduced to our environment every day and the liver's job is to process those chemicals out. So if you have a sluggish liver, which may not show up on any sort of lab, this conversion rate may be compromised, um, such as a poor diet, uh, processed foods, sugar, high fructose corn syrup. Um, and again, like I said, the toxins that are in our environment can bog this liver down and can create issues which may not be showing up on lab work. Your liver enzymes may not be high, but you still may be having dysfunction happening in the liver. And then again, in the digestive tract, if you're eating the standard American diet that's full of processed foods, you're gonna have what's called leaky gut syndrome, and you're gonna have a poor gut flora, which is going to lead to a poor conversion rate, which again, may be the underlying mechanism for why you're having the thyroid symptoms that you're having. So if your doctor is not running the specific tests that are needed to be able to fully evaluate your thyroid, they may be missing a puzzle piece and maybe exactly what's causing your symptoms in the first place. So, you know, go to your doctor, get them to run these specific labs because it's important. And if your doctor won't run them, then you need to find a doctor that will and who understands the underlying mechanisms of thyroid dysfunction. So hope you learned a little bit. On the next video, we're gonna be diving into exactly what lab markers need to be run to have a full picture of what your thyroid's doing.